speaking of Penny Dreadful and games, we kind of are changing the way we're watching things, and it was especially where this when watching the Emmys last night, we're watching these bigger picture things. Yes. And then something like this comes along and it's being released on VOD and in the theater. Um, mm. But I was so happy that I saw this actually in the theater because I think the sound design was so amazing. Cool, yeah. Yes. Can you talk about your thoughts just on addressing different platforms and whatnot? And I, I personally feel um, that, that television, we're now kind of like in a kind of platinum um, not even golden. <laughs> not even golden. Not even golden. We surpassed the golden yeah. age, uh, platinum age of, of television, and they are very much, as you say, kind of like upping their game. And yeah. you know, their production value is phenomenal. Mm. And it's uh, you know the, the writing in TV is so great right now. But why am I talking about TV? Um, I think that uh, that with film, it is still a wonderful thing to be able to go to the cinema and yeah. have that kind of like aura within a whole load of people kind of watching it together with a whole bunch of strangers and I think that that's appealing. I think TV is such a it's such an intimate th platform because you're in people's living rooms you know so you're right there with people I think the the production values as you said have gone up massively mm. and and I think we you know we've both been lucky enough to work on some TV shows with high production values right. but then a show like the, you know a, a script like Honeymoon comes along and it's basically two people one location shot in four weeks million dollars and that's exciting, you know, that's exciting to get to, to go and work on something that which is so just intimate. about the, the dialogue and about the relationship and about the details that, 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 that you put into a relationship and, um, and the fear of the unknown of, of, of you know, giving yourself uh, to someone with all of your love and trust and then what happens if they start to turn and you're not sure if that person is still behind there or not. And uh, that's a scary thing. Mm -hmm. Talk about reading the script for the first time because it's got some pretty gory spots in it. Mm. Yes. And I was like, whoa, they're really going to do this. <laughs> Especially, I won't give away too many spoilers, but you're seen in the bathroom there. Yes. Um, mm. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's mm. delightful. I'm glad you were doing it and I wasn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk about like what you were reading that you were like, oh, this is going to make my skin crawl or maybe I can't wait to do this because you might enjoy something like <laughs> that. Yeah. It, it certainly was surreal, kind of like that bathroom scene and everything. But I think the, the main kind of like draw with this script that certainly kind of like got me hooked was the the fact that it's a transformation tale the fact that you are with mm. this loving kind of like couple who are very much within their own bubble obviously they're on the kind of like honeymoon period of their relationship um that's a given literally. but um literally <laughs> but um but the, the, you do see this journey between the two of them and kind of like flipping through the script um and having these little kind of like spots like salt and pepper just you're unaware if paul was kind of like going mad or if it was b or if she really was seeing someone in the woods or or, or there, there was all, the, all this doubt kind of like suddenly gets like kind of like the, the seed begins mm. to grow and I think that that was I don't know the anticipation and the suspense certainly was it was a big draw I mean yeah. I didn't suddenly go oh my god I can't wait to be in that bedroom scene <laughs> at the very end that's going to be interesting but um but no it's a challenge and it's something that I'd never done before and it was I mean just the best thing to be able to work with Harry on such an intimate level whereby you know it felt like we were doing a big on big old play yeah really. it was really it was yeah tiny little location and just us two for most of the time so mm. but um I think there was a sense of foreboding when I was reading it just because it was such a kind of it felt like such a idiosyncratic relationship it was real you know it was organic they had their own private history and for something like that to hold for like the first third of a script you're thinking this can't this is something really horrible going to go on so right. even because of the happiness in a way that kind of you know it's not going to last leads to a sense of well, you both kind of have fear. to really find the tone of your characters because they're so dynamic you're so loving and all mm. that establishment stuff talk about finding that tone mm. i mean is lee really the writer you know lee and phil who wrote it was you know kind of I think sketched out these 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 characters who felt real and they felt like they'd come from a real place and I think we felt like we could know them and 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 mm. to to sort of you know we just um, we just put in backstory and history and, and tried to sort of flesh flesh up the, the the history of of us before going into this sort of what is it a condensed five day period I think the film is or something so. Yeah. We had to know all of the previous before we could deal with the sort of present really. Well, I mean, it, it was very much kind of like a two-hander in the sense that there was so much communication going on between Harry and I, and we both felt that it needed to be authentic. You needed to believe in this couple, and you needed that tone to, for us to be on the same page, and um, for us to have the respect and love that we did for for one another, and yeah. um, and that really allowed us to grow and develop and really kind of like come out come out with these hopefully believable yeah. couple. And the happier the beginning was, we felt 
the nastier the turn is going to be. Right. So yes. that was really the goal, was to yes. put all of the good stuff in there. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen.